This is Patrice Wendling, reporting for Global Medical News Network. We, we did this study because uh, hypertonic saline, uh, specifically 3% saline, was becoming uh, very popular in our center. And um, it was being used in a, a fairly uh, un structured way uh, and we wanted to uh, wanted to address the question of whether or not it was safe to be used in the absence of a, of a bronchodilator. A bronchodilator, albuterol or epinephrine given at the same time as hypertonic saline. Uh, because only a small number of patients had been studied like this in the past, there was a, a, a conception that if you gave 3% saline to children, there was a risk of bronchospasm. Although this was a purely theoretical risk because uh, the, uh, the hypertonic saline is used in asthma research in higher concentrations and in larger volumes. Uh, and that you know, it does indeed cause asthmatics to, uh, to have bronchospasm. Children with bronchiolitis are neither asthmatics and um, you know, not necessarily proven to be able to all have bronchospasm at the same rate. And so you know, we wanted to just test out that hypothesis. Um, uh, that said, it's just a retrospective study, so we weren't really hypothesis testing. But, <laughs> uh, but ultimately, um, what we were able to do was look at a certain percentage of children who were already given hypertonic saline, 3% saline delivered at about 4 cc's in a, in a controlled setting because of a, of a, a quality improvement database. And we were able to, to demonstrate a very low rate of any adverse events uh, in children who received uh, hypertonic saline in the absence of a bronchodilator. And that includes a bronchodilator given four hours before or four hours after. What needs to be done before this might actually shift practice? Well, um, uh, the, the, the available studies which um, on, on hospitalized patients um, using 3% saline have been very positive in terms of an effect on length of stay. Um, most of those studies have included bronchodilators, which are basically non-evidence-based therapy of bronchiolitis. So we're studying a new therapy in the presence of an old therapy uh, and with the, the belief that, that we need to use this old therapy and potentially the, new, the next set of studies on 3% saline should be studies of 3% saline versus placebo without the bronchodilator. For Global Medical News Network, this is Patrice Wendling.